Okay, guys, I'm back in Watering Waves. Update 1.2. So, there's a Moon Chase Festival, I think. Instead of a main story. So, I'm just gonna play through this uh, story. Not this, this one. <laughs> Ascension Phase 3. I will not ascend yet. I am already level 60, but I'm not gonna send yet. I don't dare to yet. <laughs> Alright, so let's look around. Right here. Let's see. Oh, is this the. Uh, ascension Yeah, Ascension, but no, I'm not going to do the Ascension game right now Let's just Take a look at what's going on here Hello Rover, Yang -yang. it's me, Yang Yang Ah, it's been a while How have you been? Is life in Dinjo treating you well? You know I'm here if you ever need anything. Oh, Yang Yang, what's there to be shy about? If you want to see Rover, check Talon. So, what have you been up to these past few days? Feeling lonely without us around? Want to go see some fireworks? Uh, how about some moon shooting? With a festival just around the corner, there's a really cool spot we can take you to. Yes, it'll be Moon Chasing Festival in a few days. Though we celebrate this festival every year in Huanglong, given everything that has happened. This year's Moon Chasing Festival in Jinzhou is sure to be quite special. Yeah, I caught them hanging lanterns all around City Hall. Every street and alley is going to be glowing. I can't so wait So this is to probably like the first... Stop, uh, first one that is the... Uh, not combat fighting story. It's just the uh, And we've got festival. special Jinzhou traditions you won't find anywhere else. Just like like how you <laughs> Folks go there a few days before the festival to write their wishes onto paper. Then hang them on branches or toss them into moon tree lawns. That lodge. sounds familiar. They say wishes made during these days are sure to come true. Works like a charm. Wanna give it a go? All you gotta do is write down your wish. Real simple. Yang Yang, Baija and I are already here. Great. See you at Talion Vale. Okay. I wanna play as the characters again. It's been so long since I did that. <laughs> Usually I play Rover but ever since I got Chang Li. <coughs> oh are we straight away going there? Okay. There's Yang Yang and Baija. journey ahead of us for now let's press <laughs> on uh, press the wrong button again okay hey over here where have you been lately <laughs> did you miss us Anything exciting happen while you're out there? Rover is wild adventures! Come on, let us in on it! Mount Firmament, right. So, so you mean that big Mount Firmament thingy that shocked all of Jinjo? Uh, no way! That shocked all of Huang Long? Was it all because of you? So you have to do the, the Mount Firmament thing to do this? Or is it different when you don't? <laughs> Rover saves the day yet again! With the Thrinodian defeated, our Sentinel and the Jinjo Magistrate have resumed their duties. Jinjo will have peace and prosperity once more. Yes. A rover? And the Sentinel did give you certain insights about your memory loss. Oh. While there's still Wait. much to uncover, at least we're on the right track. At long last. Oh, okay. We can finally have some fun. Hey, 
What better time to celebrate than the Moon Chasing Festival, right? You, me, Yan Yang, and Baicha, the four of us will have a great time munching on treats and enjoying looking at the full moon. And let's not forget about the Moonlit Fair. It's exclusive to Chinchou, happening only on the night of the festival. There's so much to eat, drink, play, and see. Wait till I show you the biggest lantern show of the fair. I know a spot that has the perfect view. That's a wonderful idea. Let's enjoy the festival together. I'm sure there'll be plenty of interesting things to pique your interest. Everyone in Jinjo will be there. There's a high chance we'll run into some familiar faces. Most likely. But I have a feeling we also might meet Zhezhi. Or maybe Sangye Yao as well. Then it's a deal. Them. Mark my words. With us around, you'll be in for a moon chasing festival you'll remember for life. Shoot! We got so distracted with everything else, I almost forgot about your wish for the wishing tree. It's a huge deal. You won't want to miss it. Oh wait, I know this place. It's just decorated. <laughs> it's That's just right. Wish, uh... Remember what I told you about wishes made under the wishing tree coming true? There are stories of it flying around, especially in recent years. The wishes people make on the eve of the moon chasing festival seem to come true in one form or another. A few years ago, Jin Zhou had endless rain. Yang Yang wished for clear skies for the festival and a perfect moonlit fair. And guess what? The rain stopped and the moon was full and bright. Exactly. I thought I'd try my luck, but it actually happened. Perhaps just a pleasant coincidence. <laughs> Chasing Festival does have a history of such coincidences. Maybe there's something to the Wishing Tree's magic after all. Or maybe there's a mysterious hero inside the Wishing Tree, making our dreams come true. Just like you. You save the world without anyone noticing. If you're not in the next season of Hero Plays, I'm out. Yeah. All right. Better get to it before we chatter ourselves away again. The Wishing Tree is just up ahead. Off you go. We've already made our wishes. Uh, Mine's for the Moonlit Fair to draw in a huge crowd and for everyone to have a fantastic time. As for Yang Yang, she wished for endless happiness and happy reunions for all families. Oh, uh, this is She, uh, <laughs> uh, she's not really into wishes. Don't uh, mind me. I tend not to make wishes. But if I did, it would probably be similar to Yang Yang's. There, you're the last one left. Oh, and don't forget about Abby. I'm sure the little guy doesn't want to miss out. Oh yeah, how do we forget him all the time? <laughs> Who's there? What's going on? Make a wish? Who tired? Just make one for me. I want... Makes sense. Goodies to eat. Hmm. I don't ever want to be hungry again. Yeah. Well, what did Abby say? Wait, you all didn't hear that? <laughs> well, after you finish at the wishing tree, come see us at the moonlit fair. Shizia and I will be helping out with preparations. <laughs> Help me over at Ching Shi's moon shooter stall. It's not fully set up yet, but I can give you a sneak peek. Okay. Interesting. <gasps> Examine the strange robot. What robot? Oh. Festival wishes. Moon chasing festival wishes. 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 Looks like I don't know if it's red. It's like Indian, but Indian is not the a robot. It's a puppet. So whose one is this? Is that a robot? Yeah. Whose robot is it? Wishes. Wishes. Oh, does this he have a robot? Seems to be malfunctioning. Can't tell who left it here. I should try asking around. Hmm. Let's 
surprised you have some more voices already. <coughs> you also, also don't know? Excuse me, have you seen this robot before? We are already talking a lot. Do you know where it's from? It's acting a bit strangely. Speaking of uh, it looks like one of those robots from the Moon Tree Lodge. One of its lodge. parts must be broken. Okay, we stopped talking already. It's like the wishing well under the wishing tree. People toss their hopes and dreams in there and poof! <laughs> before you know it, someone ah. makes them come true. You can even say it's part of the wishing tree. But wishes made at the lodge are more public. It's up to the wisher if they want to share. Anyhow, I saw that robot hovering around there earlier. Maybe that's where you should start your search. Okay. Moon Tree Lodge. Might as well drop by if it's at the wishing tree. Yeah, we're going there anyway. Nice, we don't need to Is there another one? No. All these. <laughs> okay. Fetching data. Error. Analysis failed. Xiang Li. Which is danger. Xiang Li. Help. Help. Xiang Li. First, first came to mind is Xiang Li. Uh, okay. So it is Xiang Li. I gotcha. Something seems to have malfunctioned with you. I'll take care of it. One moment. So wait, is Xiang Li out doing the... Run onboard diagnostics. Command initiator, Xiang Li Yao. Authentication confirmed. Performing onboard diagnostics. Number 231. <laughs> onboard diagnostics. Failed. Filtering switches. Beep, beep. Looking for a brighter future. Gloriana Battlefield. Abandon hope of loved ones returning home. Beep beep. Abandon hope of loved ones returning home. This one. Yang Yang. Jisya. Someone else. Hmm. It's possible that Patty's memory is overloaded with wishes, leading to anomalies mixed within. Wishes. Analyzing cause. 21 solutions have been provided. Correction. Well, correction. Four. <laughs> and solutions. Yeah. Could this relate to what said about someone at Moon Tree Lodge making wishes come true? And Xiang Li Yao. The name sounds familiar. I mean, she mentioned. I remember. Perhaps. Cable light object at the back of the robot. Isolating abnormal data. Running data correction. There. Give it another go, Patty. Performing onboard diagnostics. All systems normal. Patty feels full. That should do the trick for now. But where could the anomalies have? I apologize for keeping you waiting. <laughs> it's just a temporary measure. I'll need to conduct a thorough examination later. Thank you for turning him to me. Are you the principal investigator? I want to say this one. <laughs> Apologies. I haven't even introduced myself yet. Xian Li Yao. A pleasure to meet you. I regret that I was away during your first visit to the academy, but I'm glad to finally have the chance to meet you. Oh, he helped with the sun. Okay, I, I didn't focus on the law much. And I am a. I merely provided a few ideas, but I'm glad I was able to help. I was assisting the Ministry of Development with the damaged surveillance tower. By the time I returned to the lab, you'd oh. already left. The next time I heard any news about you was regarding the battle at the Norfall Barrens. This year's moon chasing festival could only have proceeded thanks to your F. Well, come to think of it. I should be thanking you personally. The Moon Tree Lodge wouldn't have opened as planned if it weren't for you. A hero? <laughs> it's not as grand as that. It started by trying to help children fulfill yeah, so their wishes. 
grunting and the vicious. However, I okay, do hope you can secret. keep that between us. Go behind the scenes, just you can see. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Seeing everyone's wishes come true and everyone enjoying the festival is enough for me. Fulfilling wishes. Happy. What will you taste like? Important guest. <laughs> Huh? Apologies. Patty doesn't mean anything strange by that. Patty was born in the Moon Tree Lodge. It deciphers the emotions behind wishes, analyzing their structure in a unique way. To Patty, every wish has a unique taste. You can think of it as Patty's way of understanding the world. Besides bringing Patty back, I presume you're here to make a wish as well? In that case, may I suggest we head over to the wishing stall for a chat? It's not far from here. Okay. <clears throat> I have a feeling we might be able to use it for a while somewhere. Wind guide me. I wish I could extend a warmer greeting, but Patty has run into some technical difficulties. We cannot accept new wishes at Moon Tree Lodge until I resolve oh, the issue. I apologize for the inconvenience. I would be glad to take note of your wish and have it prioritized once everything is resolved. Well, I guess this is true. I'll, if I want our own wish, we just hope we can get our. Or something. <laughs> yeah, I'll just see. How intriguing. In that case, I promise to do everything I can to make your wish a reality at the festival. For now, I must concentrate on restoring the Moon Tree Lodge as quickly as possible. In a nutshell, it appears Patty's malfunction is more than a straightforward data error. At first, I suspected an overload of Patty's analysis module due to an accumulation of wishes over the years. However, during my recent testing, I discovered unusual codes embedded within Patty's database. Like a virus, they spread drastically with the addition of each wish. Additionally, although it was only for a brief moment, I detected abnormal frequency fluctuations after connecting Patty to my terminal. In theory, a robot's data should not generate such fluctuations. It's too early to draw a conclusion just yet, but I can't leave the matter unresolved. It'll only be a matter of time before all the wishes stored in the Moon Tree Lodge are devoured by this abnormal code. For indecipherable files. Yeah, indecipherable. I've isolated the four wishes with unreadable codes pinpointing the source of the discrepancies. I plan to track down whoever made these wishes, try to fulfill them, and uncover the root cause of these anomalies. So but before that, I need to try to decode wishes the wishes corrupted. corrupted by these anomalies. Okay. To minimize data loss, it would be best to complete this a week before the Moon Chasing Festival. With careful planning, it does have its challenges, but everyone's hopes and dreams for the festival are in these wishes. I don't intend to let them down. Yes. Ying Ying and the rest have set their hearts on this festival. I appreciate the gesture, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Well then, the Moon Tree Lodge welcomes its newest <clears throat> member. Seems we have a new friend new now, member. Patty. <laughs> you, Chandler, right. Yao, and Patty, wish it come true. Organize Moonlit Fair. Yes. The lodge opens to the public before the moon at fair, but it still remains an important element of the festivities. The market vendors like to tailor their offerings according to everyone's wishes. There will be many interesting activities on the day of the fair, and preparations are well underway. Perhaps some of your friends will be among those attending. If you're interested, you can go and take a look yourself. Right, let's take a look. The cook corrupted missions. Mother 
Mother told me the Moonlit Fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes. Wait, oh, I was like, who's Everyone's wishes. They'll come true, won't they? Okay, sit down. Okay. Okay, there's an also ach achievement here. Alright, sure. That's so random. I guess we just go back here and talk to... Yeah, restore wish type. Ah, it's this. This isn't so far. I knew it was gonna be something like this. If it's just four of these, <laughs> that should be easy. Oh. Field experiments. Uh, that doesn't sell shing. Okay. That doesn't. That looks like a missing wish. The academy. <clears throat> Initiating analysis. This individual wishes to disappear from this world, indicating a desire to terminate their existence and for all associated social connections to be erased. Feasibility, 0%. Causing physical harm or manipulating human memories are actions strictly prohibited. This is another robot. Xiang Li. Okay. Uh, this is Xiang Li. Paddy's work buddy. Paddy gathers and analyzes the wishes, and Shang Li helps make them become uh, a reality. Okay. Yeah, easy to remember. Uh, Shang Li is the first prototype of its series, and we used to call it by its serial number. My colleagues at the academy began calling it Little Shang Li out of convenience. <laughs> And over time, it became the name we use now. <laughs> well, it seems to like this name a lot. So consider it a birthday gift from everyone at the Academy. Analysis conclusion. The wish exhibits strong self-denial and self-destructive tendencies, indicating a high level of danger. Prompt physical care and psychological intervention are advised. Patty does not understand this wish. Patty does not, cannot hurt humans. Just as I've suspected. This is the reason why this wish failed to be interpreted. The desire to disappear directly conflicts with Patty's underlying logic of not being oh, able that's to harm why. humans. Because he can't do that. Written words are different from data. Data represent precise and unified content, while words may harbor meanings deeper than they seem on the surface. It is often the case that words spoken aloud sometimes contradict our innermost thoughts. Those willing to entrust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge hope their desires will be chosen and fulfilled. 
This suggests that Xiao Sheng still hopes for his voice to be heard. This is just my personal belief, but I suspect he's not truly ready to give up. I think the thought pains him, which means he's... Calling for help? Yes, I believe that is the case. I want to uncover the true desire hidden in his wish and help him fulfill it. Well, fulfilling his true wish help to ease his suffering. Yes, I hope it will. We should start by locating the Wisher. If I recall correctly, there is no Xiao Sheng at the Academy. Uh, so it's likely a pseudonym. It's not even a real name. Fortunately, we know that he's a researcher, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to find him. I don't know about that. And this paper, it's from a type of notebook commonly used at the Academy. There are faint traces of another type of writing on it. Seems to be some kind of code. I'll decipher these codes, and then we can... Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. Investigator okay. Shang-Li, we have a problem. We've got trouble in the lab. Prototype 49's core has gone out of control. Emergency protocols failed, and it's overheating as we speak. Lock down the lab. I'm on my way. What about the experiment blocks? Uh, already sent to your terminal, sir. All right. Tell everyone to stay calm. We still have time. What's going on? There's been a momentary setback in the research. I need to handle it right away. I'm afraid I'll have to leave the task of finding Xiao Sheng to you. Oh no. Alright. Thank you. I'll meet up with you as soon as I have the issue resolved. Here, take Shang Li with you to help with the investigation. I already have a few speculations as to the contents of the code. I'll call you once it's confirmed. Good luck, my friend. Right. Wait, that's quite far. Oh, it's literally where I started this now. Before I teleported. Uh, <laughs> near the synthesis table. Right below. Is that Sunzi? Oh shit! We already meet her. Alert! The person ahead is confirmed to possess information related to Xiao Sheng. You have information about Xiao Sheng. Based on the writing style, paragraphing habits, and content of the wish, it can be inferred that Xiao Sheng is likely introverted and may exhibit nervousness in public settings, difficulty in communication, and a preference for solitary activities. Wait, you're not saying Xiao Sheng is her? These characteristics match oh, this shit. individual's behavior. Uh, a definitive conclusion cannot be drawn. Master requests that Shang Li avoid making judgments about humans solely based on their external appearances. Okay, I did not expect that. According to my data analysis, there is a 25.4% correlation between these two individuals. Shang Li proposes you make the decision on whether to proceed. Uh, I want her to ask him. Oh. Wow, what a cute little robot. Would it feel weird to ask if I could do a sketch of it? I'll just do it at a distance once they've walked away. Uh. Whoa! whoa. Hi! Lovely weather, huh? Can I help you? 
analyzing weather conditions. Detecting <laughs> a analyzing rapid increase in air humidity and a significant drop in air pressure. Data suggests rainfall should be expected within the next few <laughs> hours, covering 60% of the Jinjo area. Um, uh, that's right. The weather isn't actually all that great. I didn't realize. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't think you mean anything bad. I'm just not very good at talking to strangers, that's all. I feel this. <laughs> <sighs> my name is Judge. Um, nice to meet you. I don't want to really say this. Searching for inspiration for my next painting. Am I not allowed to do that here? No, 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 no. no. I'm so sorry. I'll leave right That's away. Not what I meant. Verifying rules and regulations. There is currently no prohibition on painting or photography in this area. You may rest assured, ma'am. So it's not a match. Uh, you can't conclude that yet, but I guess. Um, excuse me, but is something wrong? Well, someone who goes by the name Xiao Sheng? Maybe a shy researcher? Okay, so it's not her then because she didn't really check the step voice up at that name. Also. I've never heard of anyone by that name. Sorry, or I couldn't she's help. Hiding. I don't have a wide social circle, mostly just my painting clients. But that's true though, so I don't think so. But I'll let you know if I do. You're welcome. I, uh, I'll be on my way then. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> where were you facing? Ah, <laughs> uh, and she's cute. <laughs> Unlikely she has anything to do with the wish. Yeah, I don't. Thinking about it, I don't think so now. Pause alarm then. Affirmative. The individual showed no, yeah, no signs, signs of abnormalities when, when mentioning the name Xiao Sheng. If she did, she would be surprised or something. Okay, Might so well no. Ask another researcher. She was a feeling like that. Detected. Individual meeting search criteria. Analyzing target identity. Researcher of the Department of Laboratory Evaluation, Huashu Academy. Suggested topics of inquiry, Xiao Sheng, or work stress. Work stress? Rest assured, when discussing heavier topics, I will employ a light and humorous inquiry method. Okay, sure. So yeah, it's an NPC like we thought. It's not. It's not the Zeji. There's no way. Okay, this is a. Is it this guy? Been tossing and turning all week. By, Can't by switch the, out the spots at night. A different spelling of Zeji. I can't take it any longer. Can't switch out the spots. Wait. Been scrolling through the forums lately. There's this thing blowing up called Nighttime Blue Syndrome on the Hawashu Hive. Definition of noun. Nighttime Blues Syndrome. A popular term used to describe the state of today's youth that have lost their enthusiasm towards life due to excessive work and life 
stress. Symptoms include avoiding social engagements, reluctance to work, insomnia, and yeah. signs of depression. Further analysis reveals an 87% correlation between the syndrome's traits and the emotional state of Xiaosheng, inferred from the wish made at the time. A few colleagues from other departments even used it as an excuse to ask for leave yesterday. <laughs> They wrote, the world is such a wonderful such place, Anyone filled with different kinds of sadness to experience each day. Ugh, lucky bastards. Taking time off whenever they want. And look at us, sweating bullets over research with no results in sight. How are we supposed to sleep? Is that the latest thing? You know, I don't usually visit those forums, but on well, this term, maybe it's because everyone's feeling the pressure lately. Relax, take some time off. You can leave the rest of your work to me. And don't let it get into your head. Smile, and everything will be okay. Definitely not this guy. He's positive. Hmm. You sure are optimistic at a time like this. And I don't think it's her either. Anyway, I really need to pass out for a while. She's all yours. Okay. Um, hello? Are you listening to our conversation the whole time? Anything I can help you with? Wait a second, it's you, isn't it? The one who sucked in a tacit discord with your bare hands! Uh, yes, but how did you know that? Did I didn't meet? expect to meet you at a place like this. Are you here for something? Is it about the monsters? Or, or maybe... Uh, uh, no, never mind. Xiao Sheng. Pretty average name, if you ask me. But I've never heard of anyone with that name at the Academy. Can you... Provide any extra information. Uh, uh, maybe I can help you find him. Searching nighttime blues syndrome and Xiaosheng as keywords. There are 417 relevant results found. Such results consist of forum posts made under the username Xiaosheng. Example result, another day today. <laughs> okay, it censored the crappy, the robot does that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Analyzing someone's online behavior without their consent is a violation of robotics protocols. Searching protocol confirmed. Violation of protocol detected. Oh, what? Shangli, I'm sorry. Initiating self-destruct sequence. Uh-oh. Apologies. That damn it. That was a joke? Okay. Okay, so he's just trying to... Okay. Ah, oh, well, it's creator oh, that's and good features. It's got fine. Humor. Uh, but me of do you mind me asking? Another AI AI why are you looking for Xiao Sheng in the first place? Oh, why are we looking? This question involves the individual's privacy. We are unable to disclose any details to those not directly involved. I understand. Uh, speaking of which, this robot looks rather familiar. Could it be from the Moon Tree Lodge by any chance? <laughs> ah, got it, got it. Hmm. It's almost time to set up the centrifuge. I need to make my way back and check on the samples. Okay. No information was obtained regarding Xiao Sheng's identity. Acquired yeah. new keyword. I guess uh, instead of having Abby all the time, now we have Xiang Li with us all the time in this quest. Yes. I didn't expect this. We can always check the forums for any updates later. Now then, let's try our luck this somewhere else. This is still else. our first uh, corrupted wish. We still have three more. Right? Attention! During our conversation with Shafan, another researcher was detected yeah, within close proximity. The individual has been eavesdropping stop. on our conversation up until this moment. Eavesdropping? Wait a minute. I think he has the name. Samsung. Uploading the researcher's location to your terminal. Must have Finally, some useful information for once. <laughs> Cheng Li is always useful. Must have known because he heard the name South Cheng must be this guy. Has to be. Oh, found me. I was just about to come talk to you anyway. You were eavesdropping on our conversation. 
Please explain your behavior. Sorry about that, but but I had a good reason for doing it. I can help you with the person you're looking for. Help you with the person you're looking for. You're not the person we're looking for. Okay. You want to help him fulfill the wish he submitted with a pseudonym, but you don't know his real identity. Well, it's obvious just by looking at the two of you. That robot you have there is from the Moon Tree Lodge, right? I may not look the <clears> part, <throat> but I am an actual researcher. My name is Zhou Li. Xiao Sheng's my friend, and I know who he really is. Oh, okay. And as a matter of fact, you've already met him. Him. It can't be her. No way is she fun. He looks... Precisely. So, you already guessed it. Okay, there was some word saying that you there is caught a, slight, a slight hint of something. And we already mentioned uh, to him about the self shame thing. He probably realized who you were as well. Explains why so you made up left. an excuse and left in a hurry. <sighs> Still running away from his yeah, problems by the looks of it. Different. I was just as surprised as you were when I first found out that Xiao Sheng was actually Shifan. The two of us grew up together, went to school together, and entered the academy together. Wow. He's always been the center of attention, easygoing, always fitting in effortlessly. But at some point in time, he, he started writing these negative posts on the forums. He it didn't take me it? long to figure out Xiao Sheng was him. I know his writing style too well. Every time I asked him, he'd always wriggle his way out of it. And he started distancing himself from me. And even transferred himself to another project team. Hmm. Trembling? No, that's from an accident during an experiment involving echoes a while back. It wasn't too bad, but it did leave a few symptoms. I haven't been able to operate any precision instruments since then. Really? Okay. At first, I thought that maybe Shifan started distancing himself from me because... I couldn't continue to work on his project anymore. But deep down, I knew he was not that kind of person. So, I have a request. I want to know what kind of wish he made, and if possible, I want to help make it come true. I want to know what happened to him. Well... The integrity of Joe Lee's information is estimated to be at yeah. around 99%. No, In order 100%. to fulfill the wish, Providing relevant information is recommended. But it's quite this might be it. So that's how it is. Is he blaming himself for my injury? But that's not true. I've never felt that way. Blaming himself for the injury. He wrote that wish, but he's still the man he was before. He still smiles and comforts others and helps people whenever they're in a difficult spot, which Makes me feel even more worried for him. Yeah. Thank you for telling me all this. I'm afraid she found an I aren't on talking terms at the moment, but maybe he'll listen to you. He's been fascinated by echoes ever since he was a child. Echo related research was all he'd been working on before he left our project. He loves echoes so much. And now he's given up on it completely. I think this might be a good place to start to have him open up to you. Please, if you find out what his wish is, be sure to let me know. Okay, interesting. Hi so, there. Yeah. How are things on your end? We got information. Transferring progress log. Transfer complete. Thanks. For Fantastic. That. It appears everything has been going smoothly. Mm. Long story short, I've managed to decipher the code from earlier. It's echoes. The code mentions three echo sample data sets should oh. once needed for his research. Three echo sample data sets he need. According to the Academy's archives, his research partner Joe Lee had an accident while searching for these echoes. Shifan shut down the project shortly after. I hope this data can be of help to you. I see. Once I've wrapped up here at the Academy, I'll meet you as soon as I can. Well then. It's time to look for some echoes. <laughs> really? We just look for echoes? Okay. <laughs> so we just find some... Yeah. It's been a while.
Fuck me. We just defeated them. Beep, beep. All target echoes acquired. Task complete. Well done. I mean, we didn't even drop an echo. We just fought without any drops. <laughs> How is it called acquired? Okay, sure. I knew you could do it. Transmission is normal? Yes. That's everything. Wait, that's... That's... It's one of Shan Li's features. I can join you on your travels this way. Oh, that's cool. I'll remotely control Shang Li, ensuring our audio, visual, and movement modules are in sync to keep our communication him. seamless. <laughs> it's our quickest way to connect. Plus, I suspect Shifan might find it difficult to open up in front of a colleague from the okay. academy. Understandable. <laughs> a similar scene from the hero plays that children enjoy. <laughs> If I recall correctly, no time like the present. Let's be on our way, partner. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope shall pass. Never mind. Finding Xiao Shang? What do you mean? <clears throat> this. This is echo testing data. What are you planning on doing with. Wait. Where did you get this data? <laughs> Shang Li and the rover are researching echoes but have hit a dead end. They heard that Mr. Shifan is an expert in this particular field and are seeking his help. Oh, that's the only you are seeing. <laughs> that okay. was a long time ago. Oh, very well. Smart. What do you want to know? The data you gave me is packed with motion values. I would start by understanding how the echo adapts to different geographies. And these numbers... If we cross-reference them with standard values, the fitting coefficient nearly hits one. It looks like your model's direction might be on track. Oh, the more I look at this data, the more I think, had it reached me earlier, things might have been different. This data, how much do you want for it? I'll pay anything. We'll give you free. No, even with this, I can't do it on my own. On your own? What? What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh shit, we yeah, are telling him. You have always had regrets, both for your friend and for your echo research. I... I don't get your meaning. There was a serious accident during the experiment, and I was the one who shut it down. How could I... Mm-hmm, yep. We saw the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, but it seems that may not be what you truly wish for. Your true wish is to continue your research of echoes with the one and only friend who understands your passion. Is this correct? <laughs> I never thought my wish would actually be heard. You're right. Mm -hmm. I am Xiao Sheng, the loser who spends his nights complaining in bed. A washed up expert. I worked hard to get myself into the academy. My best friend was a real genius, and I was just an ordinary person who had to work my ass off in order to catch up with him. We promised to push the boundaries in echo research. I always believed we could produce groundbreaking results. 
maybe even touch the essence of the lament through our research. But due to my carelessness, he lost his chance to walk through that door That's completely. That's why he's the injury. Carelessness. Yet, my stubbornness in continuing the experiment without adequate samples led to irreversible harm to my friend. I chose to continue the testing. That's why he missed the window for treatment. Not once did I visit him during the final test periods. And I was the only one left on the project. It wasn't a surprise the experiment failed in the end. It wasn't until I sat alone in the empty lab that I realized. Maybe everything I sacrificed, even my friend's future, was all for nothing. I had hurt my friend, given up on a career, and worked on something I wasn't actually interested in. Ah, uh, that's... But when I lie in bed awake at night, I feel regret all over again. I know I can't give up Echo Research. My obsession torments me, but I don't deserve to pursue it anymore. And you don't deserve to pursue it, then you stop, stop going for it. That's what I did. Oh, I stopped. Obsession. I've heard enough. Oh shit! Is that the friend? Oh. Okay. The friend is here. Pull yourself together already, Jolie. Where did you? I'll tell you right now, I never blamed you for what happened. I felt the same as you right from the start. On our path of pursuing new discoveries, I was willing to pay any price. What I don't accept is you calling quits halfway. But... I'm not done yet. Okay. It blows my mind that this is why you stopped talking to me. While I'm at it, you haven't changed a bit since we were kids. You get in the habit of running away from any problems you face that are non-research related. I'm... I'm sorry. It is wonderful to have someone to support you on the journey to achieve greatness in research. It seems even without our help, this wish has been fulfilled. True. This in turn indicates that Shaosheng's wish is not the source of the abnormal codes. Well, is it over yet, huh? Yes, there are more wishes to decipher. Now, we <coughs> should make our way back to the Moon Tree Lodge. Hello. Is that the end? I hope you've been well. Remember how I mentioned that the stall vendors at the Moonlit Fair will adjust their offerings based on everyone's wishes? Based on the wishes we've received so far, I've thought of a few excellent themes. Maybe we can start preparing oh, what? for them. Oh, what? Okay. Wait, this is part two. Um... Is the story split into parts in a different day because I'm playing this on day is it day 2 or day 3 now I don't remember because I want to if possible just do this video in one go I hope we don't split it if it is I might just uh, uh, yeah, edit and combine it in one video Alright, wait, Sonora Sphere? Oh wait, this is the Ascension phase, what am I doing here? No, I'm not, I'm not going for the Ascension phase. <laughs> Why did it brought me there? Anna? I'm not ascending yet, not yet. I don't feel ready. Oh, it's like a mini mini game event. Okay. Okay. I 
see. Also, they're upgrading the base. Okay. Level one. Funds to do additional stones. Oh, I see. I mean, we only use our own self. This is the story, okay. I understand. Wait, wait, wait. I need to I need to look back there again. Okay, yeah, we can do part two now. And part three is locked. I hope I can do it right after stay away. The only offerings is the the rewards, okay. Popularity level, uh, okay, okay, understand. Let's continue on. Uh, where are we supposed to go? We should install and continue to prepare. Oh, you mean we're doing this right now? This is the part two. We just have to keep building. Build fan drone stop. How do we Oh everything is building here? I see it's okay sure. The fair stores, right? Yeah. Build this one. Oh, but we need 2,000 So we need 6,000 So we can't build those This is already built So how do we get more of these? Lost wishes Oh, we have to keep doing this um, Alright, then we, we kind of do this right now then. Uh, Alright. This is going to be a long one if I actually have to do this right now. Do we 
did he have to do this to progress this morning? Or no? I don't think we have to do this for the story, but maybe to progress we have to. Progress we need to build this too, but we don't have enough. So we kinda have to do this right now, I guess. Uh, so we're kinda forced to do the side quest, huh? That's That's a little annoying. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this, that you have to do this side stuff in order to progress. Let me just try again. We still have 960. I guess we have to though, we have to, no choice. To get more, we have to finish the 
quest and all. Uh, is this part of the quest? I don't even remember. Yeah, it is. Okay. A shot of 90 uh, wait maybe there's three more somewhere yeah we can do this more okay teamwork right yeah I was hoping we could just progress. <laughs> we're, we're really not done, right? Moon shooter. Is it the 6000 thing? Is it really? Do we really have to do this? This one. Yeah, this is the moon shooter. We have to keep doing side quests to progress. Are you serious? I haven't done my daily yet. Alright, let's see this. Wait. Ok, 
Okay, I was gonna say, is this a com we have do we have to do the companion story or no? I don't think so. This is somewhere else. Right? Okay. Ah she's there. Okay, so no. <coughs> this and that is different, okay. So where was it again? This one. about this <laughs> like let us do side quests but not in the middle of the main quest come on <laughs> wait what function unavailable of the waterfall <laughs> sure. And now we have another one. Oh, find the Z. Okay. I guess we just run there. Wait. Maybe we have to teleport to go faster. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Thank you. 
Ah, she does the fish shit. We can do this one now, right? Okay, 1000. Oh, budget 1000. Uh, let's try that. Let's give this a try. Companions may experience a eureka moment that can lead to surprising results. Success rate 20%. Ah, uh, that's a low percentage though. If you fail, you only receive the base earnings without any additional. Ah, uh, that's risky. Oh, but it increases your chance rate. Are we gonna lose everything if we lose this one? Thousand, I believe. Nice. Okay. So we got four thousand back. Ah, got enough. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was that's a uh, risky thing. But still, E, huh? But now we're done. Ah, finally. There we go. We don't have to do that now, right? We can just continue the story. <laughs> can we? Can I do that later, another time? I want to focus on the story. Okay, level two. We are done. Now, decode the second half. Finally. Thank goodness. Let's do the second one. Uh, well, this is 
Should I go be with him or something? What should I do? Okay. <coughs> Wish. Choose. Your questions might not reflect their deepest wishes. And it's not our place to answer them. It's sad. That she yeah, seems to be in the same the... place that Shifan was, but they both wanted help. That is why they made these wishes. So aside from helping her make a choice, there are other factors we must consider. Indeed, the wish shows a struggle between her longing and a promise she made to her son. She speaks of another world, likely hinting her child has passed away leaving her alone with nobody to care for her. We can't draw a conclusion solely based on words alone. Yeah. I'm curious as to what drove her to write these words. Uh, Aang and her son, what's their story? What promise did they share? What is it? Is there something on your mind? No, nothing. It's just that, is it really for us to take on a wish tied to life and death? Is that... She knows the pain of separation from a loved one better than anyone else. If we handle this wrong, it might... So that's what you're worried about. <coughs> it seems what Baija said about you is true. You do have a gentle soul. <laughs> Ever thought about becoming the mysterious wish-granter of Moon Tree Lodge yourself? You're right to be concerned, but... The Moon Tree Lodge's very existence is to have every wish be heard. Ignoring people's pain isn't right. Besides, we're not trying to force Mrs. Herring to make a choice. Our role is to listen, understand, and reflect. Ultimately, the choice lies in Mrs. Herring's hands. But it's getting late. Let me know when you're ready for our next task. That's just good. I don't want to finish this all. Is it at C1? Alright. So far, 1 hour 23 minutes 45 seconds already. <coughs> now we only starting part 2 because of that. <laughs> Excuse me? You must be Mrs. Hurting? Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Oh, hello. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Who might you be? My name is Xiang Li Yao, and this is the rover. I apologize for the unannounced visit, ma'am. Rover? Rover? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, I remember now. You're the hero of Jin Zhou, aren't you? Defeated that terrible beast. Everyone's been talking about my thanks to you. You've realized my son's vision. Son's vision. Oh, how joyful he'd be seeing Jinjo now. Since he was little, my boy dreamed of shielding me and all of Jinjo. He'd always say, I'll conquer the Thranodian uh -huh. one day so everyone can live peacefully. That's what drove him to join the Midnight Rangers. Huh, yes. I always had faith that my son would achieve his dreams. He never stopped striving. Once, he and some rangers stayed behind during a mission to give folks like me a chance to flee. I know he did it to chase his dreams, but... Damn. But now he's gone. And he'll never witness the defeat of the Thranodians. I just... We used to celebrate every moon chasing festival at the stalls. And he'd make wishes at the Moon Tree Lodge. His mischief sometimes tried my patience. But now, the silence is overwhelming. 
I can't help but wonder if, if he's lonely wherever he is. No. Oh, perhaps I should join him. But before he left, he made me promise to be witness to the day the Thranodians are finally gone. <coughs> what am I to do? Oh dear. I've rambled on about my boy again. What brings you here today, dear? Do you remember the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, Mrs. Herting? Well, of course. I do. Everyone knows the Moon Tree Lodge has magical powers. <laughs> I see. You must have been sent here to help me fulfill my wish. Is that right? You granted his wish beautifully. I trust you might do the same for mine. Though, really, I have nothing much left to ask for. As I've mentioned in my wish, I find myself at a crossroads, unable to decide. I hope the Moon Tree Lodge can clear my doubts. When deciding your answer... Oh, yes. I recall they say it's best to speak the answer in front of the Moon Tree Lodge. Right, we, we can't say we uh, actually have uh, I mean, yeah, this is the right way to do it. Oh, <coughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Mrs. Hurting, yeah. might you consider a visit to the lodge with us? The Taoyuan Vale is preparing for the moonlit fair, and the atmosphere is quite lively. Perhaps a walk will lift your spirits. A walk? My heart hasn't really been in it since I lost my son. And, well, my legs don't carry me as well as they used to. Well, okay. If you think it might help find the answers, then perhaps we should try. That seems to be. What was that about? Hmm? What? <laughs> it was oh. just a little trick to get Mrs. Herting to I join mean, us at the lodge. On. You probably sensed it after hearing her story. The so promise the between plan? Mrs. Herting and her son wasn't just about seeing his wish granted, but about finding peace in her life. In her grief, Mrs. Herting overlooked what her son truly wished for. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what the hell? Glad there's a fence here. <laughs> well, it does. That was really funny. I believe he wanted her to see Jinjo uniting to defeat the Ternodian and the joy and security he sacrificed himself to safeguard. And it came true. His wish for his mother represents not just life's simple joys, but also the courage to keep living. Yes. Though I can't say for certain, the moonlit fair in Taoyuan Vale holds the dreams of many. Perhaps there's something her son wanted her to see. A reason to embrace life. Oh, how are you youngsters falling behind an old lady? Come on, I'm waiting on you. Oh, that's why we have to build the thing. Because it's really, it's uh, relevant to this part of the story. This year's moon chasing festival sure is lively. Indeed it is. Look at the crowd. Oh, so many things I've never seen before. It's quite exciting. You young folks must be thrilled with all this. Go on, enjoy yourselves. Don't mind this old lady. Mrs. Helling has been doing her best to stay cheerful since we arrived at Taoyuan Vale. <coughs> Let's take her to see more of the fair. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Would you like to browse our fan paintings? This one is exquisite. Just look at the fireworks bursting to life on the fan. I've never seen anything like it. You have excellent taste, Mum. 
This fan is the creation of Ms. Uh. It's the moon chasing festival from her imagination. The fireworks seem to fly to the other side of the fan. And these capes. Ah, oh, yes. They represent the Midnight Rangers. A special oh. touch from Ms. Jujia. She hopes that everyone who sees this fan will feel the liveliness of the moon chasing festival. And remember that the festivities are all thanks to the brave rangers. The fireworks flying to the other side are meant to share the celebration with the soldiers on the front lines. This year's fireworks display will be the biggest yet. Even the soldiers should be able to see it. You won't want to miss it. I'd like to buy one of these fails. Busy in a long time. Okay. NPC is uh quite loud. I don't think I'm gonna get that. Ah! The moon shooter gallery! My son was so good. Every year at the moonlit fair, it was his favorite. This is her <clears throat> Happy Moon Chasing Festival, everyone! Want to give the moon shooter game a try? Lots of rewards to be had. Wait, we have to do the challenge. Yeah, we can use the hover drive. Yes, uh, please. I what are the sounds? Wrong method. <laughs> Sorry. Start. How do I move? Okay. Need to switch to a gun wow! Very impressive shooting skills! Here are your prizes. These prizes? Did you make them yourself? That's right. The Moonlit Fair is about community, so we thought practical items would be more meaningful. A ranger instructor taught us how to make them. Even though he's no longer with us, his oh. instructions and methods continue to guide us. Is this the same person? These tools were a great help when we first joined the Rangers. We've now improved them to help even more people. Please take them, Mrs. Herring. I'm sure yes. Shou Yuan would want you to have it them. Is. And you are... You might not remember, but after Shou Yuan passed, I tried to visit you. You didn't want to see me then. I never expected we'd meet here. Oh. It's good to see you out and about. Show you when always talked about how good a mother you were. By the way, some of the soldiers who served with Show You N are here today. I'm sure they'd love to see you. Look, here they come. Oh, that's, that's so nice. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mrs. Hine. Show You N was an incredible mentor to me. I wouldn't have the nerve to wield a weapon now if it wasn't for him. I heard you were the one who taught him how to overcome his fear of the water. Oh, well, there you go. So, the boy taught you everything I taught him. <coughs> Mrs. Herring? Mrs. Herring? Oh, I'm still here. Please, go on. I'd love to hear more stories about Show You N's time with the Rangers. Of course, ma'am. Why don't we go have a seat over there first? We've got plenty of stories to share with you. Before that, thank you, Shang Li Yao and Rover. Just as I said before, I knew that both of you would make my wish come <clears throat> true. But before I visit the Moon Tree Lodge for the answer, I'd like to walk around a bit more on my own. I trust that this answer will be right for you. Yes. Thank you. Both. Well, that was easy compared to the first one. Well, the first one was kind of easy too. But Do you think Mrs. Hung understood the promise she made shot. to her son? We can't be sure just yet, but at least she's made a good start. Don't you agree? Now she isn't just going along with us. She's searching yeah. for the life her son wanted for her. 
I believe she'll uncover her answer someday and make her own choice, without relying on the Moon Tree Lodge. But it means this wasn't the wish affecting yeah. Patty either. We'll have to keep digging. Can we At stay any rate, with that more one? stalls are being set up in Talia. Oh Vail. no! Not again. Care to explore further? Do we have to? What do we need? No, oh, we have to do three more, <laughs> three more damn shops. Okay. That means we might have to just finish the whole shop. Again. Well, I guess it's important now. Huh? Okay. So let's try. It. Let's go. Uh, festival journal. That is a part four. <coughs> okay. So first stalls we need to build um these three I guess. My workshop. Thirty thousand. But I'm calling yeah, yeah, yeah. First off, all right. Uh, I guess we have to meet Chisya now. Before we continue, My, Taoyun Vale hasn't been there. <coughs> yeah, we did this already. Second challenge. Oh, I missed. Oh, really? There you go. It's just one extra for the. Wait, the third one is this one? Oh, that was the first one. Okay, I was confused. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this. 
I didn't know where was the target. Can we try that again? What was that? Was that a different one? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that was a different uh, target puzzle. Or is it? Way too hard. I guess it was. Uh, I will say. Afternoon, so yeah, I thought I'd be rushing for what? I think it's just happening. Um, Twenty-one thousand. I think we have enough to even up uh, up another stall, right? Stall open. And now we need to fifteen hundred. Uh, ah, I 
action. Okay, Shinsia has the high action. Okay. Before that.
which earnings bonus up 5% on this <coughs> Okay la. I understand why we have to do this to, to unlock the stores. Okay, one more store to go and we're done. get very little when there's no budget. I guess doing this again is the best thing to do. I mean, there's a... Nope, we do not have... Probably got 30,000. Text to what? Oh, this again. Okay.
Yep, we're done now. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. That took like what, 20 minutes? That was longer than the second quest. God damn it. Level 3, finally. Alright, it's time. Please. Sounds like a Choji. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Again, I'm so over this cheesy old play. This sounds similar to Abby. There are way better ones. Come on, switch it up. <laughs> what about Rainbow Mirror? I'll be Flame Ranger. You be a psychic being controlled by the monster. No way. Why do I always have to be the one getting beat up? I don't want to play the bad guy. We pinky sweared last time, remember? If I don't get to play wow. as Flame Ranger, Seriously? I'm not playing with you anymore. All right, all right. Let me think. Then let's do Deep Sea Rescue. You can be Flame Ranger, and I'll be the sidekick. Okay, this is that good enough for you? Oh, I see what you're up to, Momo. Trying to trick me again. In Deep Sea Rescue, the Flame Ranger falls into the villain's trap and gets beat up at the start. So I'll still be the one getting whacked. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Mon if you keep doing this. Mon. Wait till he comes back. He'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Cha! You think telling Mon is gonna help you? With him around, you'll never get the chance to be Flame Ranger. Okay. <laughs> At least I won't get beat up by you all the time. Hey, where did this weird grown-up with a flying <laughs> bunny come from? Mon's not here. I'm in charge. Wanna play with us? Okay? Then you can be a monster. Detected new name entry. Bunny. Bunny. Processing speed increased to 150%. Processor temperature 90 degrees. Cut 91 it. degrees. 92 degrees. Ah! It's, it's gonna blow! I'm here, don't worry. I'm overriding Shang Li's processor. <laughs> One moment, please. Recorded new name entry. Bunny. Phew! I almost wet my pants. <laughs> so, you're looking for Mom, huh? He's not here right now, but if it's important, you can tell me, and I'll pass it on to him. Word for word. Huh. Lee's being a show-off again. We haven't seen Mom for days. No way you can tell him anything. For days? Not true. We're doing one of his favorite plays tomorrow. He'll definitely show up. We did a play yesterday and one before that. I don't remember him showing up. Where was he? Uh, oh, you suck, Momo! <laughs> oh, we usually play together in the city or watch hero plays at the theater. Oh, and we have a secret base. Detected. Keyword, secret base. Um, maybe? Are you going to go look for him? Mon says it's top secret and we can't tell anyone. What? Really? Um, he did mention before that there's this flame power growing Something inside of him, him, and he's about to become a great hero, just like Flame Ranger. Well, I guess you don't look like a bad person. It's so literally the hero. Come on. Uh, if you do find him. Please don't tell him I told you about the secret base. Oh, oh, and remember to tell him to come back and play with us soon. How? <laughs> okay, sure. Figure a way out. <laughs> um, switch to the. Oh, I missed the. One of those. 
Oh, is that the lock puzzle? Oh, it's the secret base. journey to distant mountains and secret caves to train all alone and then after years of training a tacit mark did finally it, appeared did it appear for you forte awaken <laughs> that's my favorite part that's why i've been eating all my veggies and going to bed early lately i want to be ready to spend the whole day at this secret base Training. I try to practice every move I can think of from the place, hoping my forte will awaken hoping. soon. Yeah, let's see it awaken. I've been so busy, I haven't even watched any hero plays lately. Um, not really, but I've come up with a new plan. You know how Flame Ranger gets stronger the more danger he's in? They call it a forte boost. So I thought, why not find a scary monster and try to fight so it? So that's why. Uh, <laughs> That was an accident. I've no idea where it came from. If I'm going to be a great hero, I have to find an enemy that's no. even stronger than a TD. But, but, then you tell me. What should I do to awaken my forte? Absolutely, it's a must. Every hero in the place is a resonator with a forte. Becoming a hero means I can protect all my friends. None of us will ever need to be scared again. Well, yes, the mindset. Besides, huh, being a hero is just the coolest. Every hero play, all my friends too. cheer like crazy for Flame Ranger. I don't plan on being the lame sidekick. No way. If you know so much about it, then what should I do? Tell me, tell me! Well, you say he's been eating his vegetables. Get plenty of rest, exercise more. Well, he is exercising, that's why he's been doing all this. Oh, you sound like my mom. <laughs> Come on, don't treat me like I'm just some kid. I do know a few warriors. They know firsthand what it Something means to be a this. hero. What if I write down some of their quests and daring feats for you? Real heroes. Real stories. It might give you some ideas. Wow! Really? Are they even more awesome than the heroes in the place? When will you show me these stories? I want Lee and Momo to see them too! Time, location, event, notification, the Moonlit Fair. The Moonlit Fair. Right in the middle of the festival. It would be the perfect draw for the children in Jinjo. Thankfully, I've still got some time to get everything ready for Mom's wish before it starts. How about this? The Moonlit Fair on the day of the Moon Chasing Festival. I'll have the stories with me. 
Pinky promise? Yes! It's a <laughs> pinky promise then! Can't wait to see you there! The kids still do this pinky promise thing. <laughs> I happen to catch the boy's wish. He aspires to heroism, a feat of spirit that humbles even a grown man like myself. Why is this one uh, corrupted though? <laughs> I guess His wish he comes from a place of real valor and sincerity. However, he wishes to become a hero by awakening his forte. Awakening forte is an intricate process, and the disparity between a resonator and an ordinary person's abilities is significant. In our current time frame, I must confess, the Academy's current research in this domain is rather limited. If we are to approach it from this angle, I'm afraid I may not be able to help the boy much, at least before the Moonlit Fair arrives. I concur. Thinking back on a few scenes from the hero plays, Flame Ranger did not rely solely on his forte and abilities to achieve his the heroic hero feats. Is something I missed up? Some, something. Courage, perseverance, and support from his companions were all indispensable elements. Your idea of finding a real-life role model to show the boy a more grounded version of heroism is indeed a viable approach. So, have you decided who this hero should be? The Rangers? Oh, Jin C. G. N. any suggestions? Any, any one of these have uh, tested marks, right? Actually, the person I have in mind embodies courage, perseverance, and leadership with steadfast companions who would stand by him, never backing down even in the face of powerful enemies. Well, there's no need to look far. You are the most suitable candidate. Of course. Your actions alone in saving Jin Jo have earned you the title of hero. A true hero is defined not by grand gestures, but by their actions. Authenticity is key. Just chronicle your daily life and let your true self shine through. The Pangu Terminal can record your daily activities. Before you begin, I'll make some enhancements to provide you with additional assistance. Thank you for your hard work so far. It will take some time to analyze the fourth wish. I'll contact you after it's complete. The Moonlit Fair is approaching. I hope that all the wishes in the Moon Tree Lodge will soon come true. Okay, yeah, another shot part three now. Oh, we got Xiang Li Yao for the companion thing. Okay. Oh no, not again. <laughs> so that was it. Seriously? Because we have, we will finish it in part Mother four. Mother told me the moonlit fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes. Stop. Everyone's it. wishes. They'll come true, won't they? Wait, is this a side quest? Oh. Uh, okay, I think I should I should get all the companions. Huh? You got gems in here. Alright, let me let me just quickly settle this too. Yeah, why not? We got I think we got encore as well, right? But I'm kind of lazy to read. This is 
the button up there, but anyway. <laughs> Let's get all the companions. Since we are probably this is probably the last one, part four. Let's just finish it. Scared to accidentally trigger some other some other story that I haven't done. <laughs> All right, I remember this place. Told me the moonlit fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes.
Mother told me the moonlit fair will okay. start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes. Alright, let's do the other two as well. This is Encore. I want to see this one. They should let us play a fourth character where, well, not everything's a battle, right? I mean, my encore is kind of good. Knew it! You can't do without encore. <laughs> Off we go! Okay, looks like we have some battle, let's, let's do it. Let me just show my own product. <laughs> Leave me. 
Cage full of chickens and rabbit. You count 14 hits and 38 eggs. Uh huh. Chickens and rabbits. 14 and 38. 5 minute timer. Uh, yeah, that's a math problem, but I can solve that. I give the answer. Uh, is, unless it's a trick question. Nah, I'll give the answer. Five and nine. Is that true? With X is five, five is four, twenty, twenty, thirty, eight. Yeah, that's correct. Destinations together. <coughs> they should let us switch. Uh, I mean, maybe we can do that ourselves, but I mean, come on. Speeding up. That end trial. Speeding up. Speeding up. Oh, okay, grab push. Okay, higher. Speeding up.
Yo. Knowledge of action. Oh, we can just speed up. Okay. That's not good. a low chance 21 percent ah no i i have uh high high i doubt this will succeed though i will put in Can you really win that? I thought so. Last one, then uh, we'll get uh, everyone else. God damn this damn mini game.
all in. 50-50. No! <laughs> you got me though, but... Uh. There goes all the money. Uh. Five percent. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. That's a very low chance. <laughs> okay. What are these camps? Uh, Yuri class. Jin C, eh? Uh, you know this? Maybe, maybe the last one. I don't know. <laughs> right. Before we do the last one, let's get the others. Wind, it? guide me. Fight Verena for a selfie. What? Is this a thing? If you... Oh shit! Uh, 
Okay, well... You can do that with everyone. Keep the camera rolling. And she disappeared. Chauchi? I see. Well... Chasing after a rabbit or a rover in the Fernode and recreating the legendary battle. <laughs> oh, meeting everyone. Great puzzle. It's easier, let's test one by one. Or look around for clues. I'm curious. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> is red, two is purple, red and purple cannot back to back, one and four are neither blue nor purple. Really? Says it. One is red, two is purple, one and four are neither blue nor purple. I give up. <laughs> 
Four based on the order they are supposed to be activated. There is no purple. Red, green, blue, and yellow. Unless you mix two colors to get purple. So it cannot be one, two, three, four. Neither blue nor purple. Purple is red plus blue. So they are neither red nor blue. It's either green or yellow. Two is red and blue. So red, blue. Oh, why is it, why is it purple? I'm so confused. Only one of the following hints is true. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So based on the order, they are ordered 1 to 4 based on the order in which they are supposed to be activated. So if 4 is, if they say 1 to 4 are neither blue nor purple, okay we'll study number 1. If number 1 is red, 2 is not purple, 3 is can be activated back to back. But it doesn't matter. 4 means it's neither. There's no purple, that's the thing. If it's neither blue nor purple, that means it is either blue or purple. Number 2, purple. There, again, there is no freaking purple. What the freak? So, two, three, four are false because there is no purple, right? Number one is red. Red, green, blue, yellow. What if that's the answer? Wait, that's that is purple or green? That is purple, why got green? Number one is red. Number two 
is green. Number two is purple, but it's false, so it has to be blue. And then purple yellow. Nah. not even red. Okay, so one is wrong. If one is wrong, that means, it, that means one is not the true answer. What if it's number four? Okay, what if it's not number four? If, if four is wrong, uh, neither, that means it is either blue or purple. So, but then two will be wrong, right? Yeah. So blue, blue, purple. Yeah, maybe three is correct then. So blue, purple, red. You know, it cannot be purple though. Four is if four is correct, two is wrong. Blue, red, purple. Yellow. This time we have correct blue. <laughs> ah, that's even wrong. Okay, that, that was a guess anyway. Say five minutes, but I'm doing this more than five minutes. One is wrong, two is probably wrong, three is probably. I need to find out what's the first one. It is not red. I think Chang Lee knows that was already, but I don't want to try myself. Red is wrong, blue is wrong. Are you saying purple is that the first answer? Wrong order. So it's the yellow one, huh? Yellow is the first one. Purple is not the second one. If it is, then two is correct. Right? Don't tell me the purple is correct. I doubt it's correct. I swear it's correct. No, it's not. Okay, I knew it was wrong. Okay, so we know which one is it. The third one says yellow, uh, blue and purple cannot be at the same time. If that's false, Alright, let's go. Okay. Well done. Uh, this better be worth it. <laughs> what do you have here? <clears throat> well, we, we didn't took 24 attempts. We took like, what, 5, 6, 7, 8 attempts. There's no treasure here, god damn it, I knew it. Hello, what is this now? Really? <laughs> how, how many minutes did I take to do that? Just a book.
Education. So, what was it just now? Uh, the fourth one was true. But I couldn't tell which was the first, second, third, until at the test. Until we got it. Something about puzzles that I actually enjoy doing. Well, it's the book. But do you know what this is? Master this super cool magic meters. The Riddle Master Changli herself. You saw that coming. to the Pioneer Association store. Let me help. Which is the puppets? Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Take a look at our official merch. Uh, why is it finally like this? Is someone you know why it's so far away? <coughs> How do you able to see 500 meters away? It's already two o'clock right now. Because I've been playing for three hours already. I 
is a familiar figure that you need most Dominator? No Okay, no <laughs> Uncle Lee What? Okay, that's even more Tested this card, but learn more about the uncommitted people. Zap string, our turn. <laughs> Dangerous. Should I just say it in my instinct? Last part of the story. Uh. Good. There's no time to waste. I should have started this day. But there was no other time. Oh yeah, this is the end. Yeah. Right. Doing this jumping thing again. Wait, what now? story quest to continue that good there's no time to waste i guess we are forced to play the story quest now okay 
Well, in that case, I might have to do a new video just to do that. I got Zuzi, but now I got Minion. Of course, to do Minion, that damn it. Okay, so we can't get Minion here, sure. Okay, that should be enough. This time it's over. <laughs> I 
getting inside there. What's up, Chisha? Hey, Robert. You've been to the wishing tree, right? What did you wish for? Did it come true? Oh, wait. It can't be that fast. Just leave it here, Chisha. Gotcha. Still busy with the preparations? Almost finished. The voice. Crazy here with all these people bustling around. You hear the buzz from our side? Need to double check the procedure. Hmm? Ooh, that's you see I just see Madam Magistrate? Was it just me? Indeed. Everyone's really giving their all for this year's moon chasing festival. Oh, and the moon dance performance is happening tonight. Have a party with us, Rover. I secured Can the I best seats. Come on. Hooray! <laughs> Settle that. We'll be waiting for you then. Before we hang up, anything you want to say to Rover, Ying Yang? Me? Uh, but I'm not ready. Okay. Uh... How are you doing today, Rover? I'm looking forward to enjoying the moonlit fair with you tonight. And you, Baja? Uh, please, come early if possible. People have been preparing for the moonlit fair for many weeks. I just sent the coordinates to your terminal. See you there! Ha! Get ready to be blown away! Alright. <clears throat> what? Are, are we not going to that restaurant then? <laughs> Let's eat there with Yang Yang and the others later. Yeah! Ladies. Wait, this smells something delicious. It's the real deal for my empty tummy. I just know it. Isn't that... Hello, Rover. Can you come to the Moon Tree Lodge? Hey, uh, you done oh, decide from that fourth really wish? Busy. Yes. As I suspected, Patty's malfunction was caused by something else. Understood. I'll be right there. Thank you. I'll see you in the usual spot. <laughs> <laughs> More trouble to solve, eh? <laughs> Wait, didn't you just promise Yang Yang we'd hang out tonight? Yeah, I did. Let's go handle it quickly so we can still make it on time. Reminds me of work. Really reminds me of work. You want to make sure everything can keep up with everything. <coughs> Cut sunny cancel. Just make it up for everything. Can't we just teleport to the tree or something? We really have to climb over here. guide me. I guess we go here. <laughs> this time it's a shortcut. Thank you for coming, Rover. Is that 
The smell of Sonoro? Patty is now a portal to a Sonoro sphere. Um... It's built up frequencies, likely resonated with something, and created this. Should we alert the Midnight Rangers? But then, then people might think there's another TD outbreak. Now, since a major fight has just happened, I think we should. We just said that right now. We'll handle it ourselves. Ah, you're already planning to do so. I can tell. It's written all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've thought it through. I believe that would be the most practical solution. If the Sonoro is benign, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. And worst case scenario, if it turns malignant, you'll have no trouble handling it. I just didn't expect you to bring it up first. I guess I wasted time hesitating. You can hesitated. We get, can we get a uh, because of the name Pascal? Pascal. Yes, he was a close friend uh. of mine. He died from the wave worn. I think if this Sonoro sphere is related to him, it must contain his messages for me. This is my personal request, Rover. Please help me. Sure thing. In fact, I'm also doing I'm this right. for a personal yes, reason. Voices. We have voices you are? I promised my friends we'd enjoy the moonlit fair together tonight. We can't let this incident ruin the festivity. <laughs> Thank you, Rover. Let's enter the Sonoro now. We really get to use... Special object to calibrate the user environment. Unknown object. It's simulating Patty's program. Well, like they say, you wouldn't know what's inside of Sonoro Sphere until you actually... What's happening? Uh, the Sonoro is pushing us out! Rover, here! My hand! Cause and feel, hate, car, the world, hate, Shelly, yo! Rover! Rover, <laughs> that wasn't like a... Screen. Oh, no. Yeah. Thank goodness you're awake. I'm glad the Sonora didn't throw us out. But why us? What did we even do? Maybe it has something to do with that Pascor person. Anyway, we should find Shang Li Yao first. So this is Shang Li Yao story, basically. That's it. That's something. Myself. My name's Pascar. They're Modi and Ryan. Shang What's your name? I'm Shang yep. Li Yao. Shang Li Yao? Jeez, you're Mrs. Shang Li Yen's son. Whoa, so you're that genius everyone's been talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, I heard you've never been second to anyone in school. Mm -hmm. No way! I heard you finished an entire school year's classes in one week! Mm -hmm. That's amazing! And you've solved a century-old problem wow. for the Academy, too? Huh? Is that what they've been saying about me? Is that not true? You're so cool! Chill, boss! You might scare him! You're just like my big sis when she meets her idol! <sighs> Shush! <clears throat> Sorry. I got ahead of myself. By the way, we're going to the Moonlit Fair. Oh, shit. Care to join us? Are you sure? <laughs> of course you can. We can make you the new boss, even. The boss? Uh, yeah, like our leader. But that's not important. 
The real question is, do you want to play with us? I, uh, sorry. I think I'll stay at home. I must wait for my dad. Your dad? The big inventor mentioned in the headlines? Oh. Said he's gone missing. Hey, shut up! Mm. We gotta go now. Come find us anytime you want to play. I don't like being alone. Don't know if you feel the same. Anyway, we're here. When you need to chat or someone to hang out with. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Let's have some food. Oh. That looks like something from Shang Li Yao's childhood. Could his memories be affecting this Sonoro's frequencies? Maybe it's not just his memories. Wait! <gasps> we can go through that door now. Let's move! Wow, okay. Where are we? What is this place? A wishing stall? But the decorations don't match this year's theme. This is the past. Mm, do we need to touch anything or read anything here, like we did in the last room? <laughs> there are some wish tags on the floor. Let's read them. <laughs> Wait, on the floor? Or this? <laughs> That's not the floor. Uh, Open. Hoping to be heard, missing a departed son, wanting to become a hero. These are the wishes of the people I've helped. There are two more wish tags. can be really sharp. So is this the father? Can't believe I actually got a zero. What a bummer. Oh, it's possible, Not even in the uh, mood for wishes now. Because the father is missing. Still upset about what happened in class? I mean, aren't we supposed to learn by doing? That's what we've been taught since day one. We know next to nothing about the wave-worn phenomena, and our equipment is useless. Shouldn't we go explore it firsthand? <laughs> but how? Should we set up a lab by a waveworn site like you said in class? It's too risky. If something goes wrong, the staff won't make it. But this is the martyrdom of science, the necessary sacrifice. Like chemists who sampled unknown substances. We must risk it all for the ultimate- Really? Do we have to risk it all? Of course! You want food, you pay. You want pay, you work. Oh, Give something to get something. It. When the truth of this world, the ultimate knowledge, is on the line, one must be willing to give up everything they have. We'll discuss it later. Modi and Ryan want to catch up. How about meeting them today? I have no time. You've been avoiding them since they failed the entrance exam. Oh, wow. It's necessary. As intellectuals, we must walk a solitary path. Those who can't keep up will only hold us back. It's best to leave them behind what? sooner rather than later. Excuse me. Hold it back. Why would a genius like you care about their feelings anyway? With your father as a role model, distraction should be beneath you. No wonder you got zero. Come on. What if they drag you down? But I don't think we have to be lonely as intellectuals. Remember that old Boon Tree Lodge tale from a decade ago? Write a wish, hang it on the wishing tree, and presto, your wish comes true. Well, let's be real, there's got to be a person running that show. Because when the word got out, it just stopped working. More wishes were made, but how many actually came true? Not many. See? Not even that unsung hero of the Lodge had time to grant every wish. Our time in this world is limited. So let's focus on the truth, not trivialities. Uh... Trying to organize your arguments to refute me? <laughs> Go ahead if you must, Mr. Genius. You know, I only said that because I value you as my only friend and opponent. I just don't want you to get distracted. It's not satisfying to outdo someone when they're not at their best. Well, that's enough talk for today. I'll make my wish now. Let's see. Well, Wishing Tree, please make the wave worn happen. Then I can finally study it up close. <gasps> <A scar. laughs> Chill, dude. Just kidding. 
As an intellectual, I must prioritize my pursuit of truth. Even if it means a life of solitude, then, Father, why did I find dry shafts of your design in the Moon Tree Lodge? You were never home during moon chasing festivals. Were you busy helping other people? Just like what Xiang Liang's doing right now? If that's what you did, does it mean I don't really have to be alone? What should I do? Hey, Xiang Li! What are you doing there? Come on, we gotta go now! Okay! Festival must mean something different to him. Is that why he's running the Moon Tree Lodge after his father's passing? Is that a form of human connection too? Sort of. Are we sharing that kind of connection right now? Well, I'd say you've been haunting them. <laughs> like a ghost. Haunting? <laughs> no way. Admit it. As I'm just learning rent free in your that, head. <laughs> but not this game. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> now, back to the topic. We've been seeing Pascar and Shang Li Yao's past exclusively so yes. far. I like what this, so, there's a lot of voices here. Uh, isn't that pretty normal in a sonora like this? I guess. But why can't we get through the doors before Shang Li Yao opens them? Uh, strange indeed. It's almost as if he owns this place. Or maybe he holds the key. Is it similar to what Scar did to me? No. Similar I can't tell for sure yet. Let's press on. We need to go deeper to uncover the truth. <laughs> Follow Sam. <Sally. laughs> this room isn't empty. Just a academy. Our research has been great. Hopefully, we'll keep this momentum going into the next year. With the progress we've made so far, we'll surely figure out the tacit fields one day. Well, we have Pascar and Shang Li Yao to thank. Yeah, where did Shang Li go? So he's never here with us during the moon chasing festival. He's never with us because he's the one who's helping out. Despite the law. Okay. Why is it cancelled out? Huh? Oh, what? Huh? Huh? Did we just end up back in the same place? Mm, something feels off here. We're glitching out. Another failed experiment. When will we invest in better equipment for accurate results? Wait, was that... Was something changed? Why, why is it failed now? This is pointless. The wave one has destroyed all our theories. There's no pattern at all. Our research has been a waste of time. It's all your fault. Okay, this is the hate thing. That we we need Shen Li Yao. Pasca, where is Shen Li Yao? Where the hell is he? So the lock now is tested through three point seven. The waveform phenomenon affected the data. Yep, I knew it. Well, this is the third time we've circled back here. Let's look around and get out of here. Quick. Just in case, I just want to see if there's anything. Guess not. I can't do this anymore. What? It's over. I'm useless. Nonsense. It's all nonsense. Countless errors. No solution! It's not me, it's them! No, it's the world. The whole world is wrong! Why is this evil? <laughs> Where is Shang Li Yao? You're nobody compared to him, Pasca! What? Oh, shit. No recorded 
Okay, 3.74 skyrocket to 7 for this one. It's because the waveform phenomenon is withdrawn. Fast car. Vicious. Oh, this is this new place looks even creepier. Are you sure this is the way up? So tired. I don't want to disappear. <laughs> Screw everything. Hey, ain't that the Shifan guy? Related. Mm, he smells delicious. I, I mean, uh, he looks even worse than yesterday. When he wrote down his... The others are probably no better than him. Yeah, so it's related with the first wish though, I guess. I guess. Or is it with everyone? Really? No, it's everyone. My son! I miss you so much! Take me away with you! She's been affected too. Uh, even that granny has gone crazy. This is before, right? It's not right now. <laughs> Watch me take out anything! Let the world burn! I'll still come out on top! Well, this one doesn't sound too depressing. <laughs> but, uh... but if it ever comes true, I have a feeling it's gonna be hella dangerous. Hmm. I think I know who the remaining two will be. Doesn't exist. We knew it. We knew it right from the start. The wave one phenomenon defies all laws of physics. And the worst part, it's completely random. We need more data. How are we supposed to study the tacit field in this chaos? I knew it. We never have enough samples. Now, if we could make the wave one disasters happen more often. Oh no. You want the disasters to happen more often for the That's... Don't you try to stop me, cowards! You don't even have the guts to sacrifice for the truth! You all despise me! Thinking I'll never surpass Yang Li Yao, right? <laughs> if this were his idea, not a single one of you would object. Fine. <laughs> I did it! Now I'm just a heartbeat away from success! Stay back! Stay away from here! Damn. So this is... His wish... Achieved... He is not guilty... He must... He trigger... The wave worn... The tacit field... Oh, he can't be serious! So he's gonna trigger the wave worn disaster like Pascar planned to? We shouldn't jump to conclusions yet... No. Not based on a few broken words... He's willing to go to great lengths for other people... Yeah. He wouldn't want to do that. My friend's quest for truth was genuine till his last breath. I will not let you tarnish his goal like that. Huh? It's Xiang Li Yao. He's right behind this door. But it won't fight. Then I'll smash it open. Huh? By brute force? Really? <clears throat> uh... Oh, shit. The area of the Hascar, are you there? Sorry, Rover. I must go and face him myself. Stop hiding, Hascar. We can talk it out. So, Hascar. Oh, shit. Let's go. I want to use it. Is it like troll? So, it's using the same. Yeah, Ow. Oh, that's cool. 
Oh, what? Are you serious, dude? A mech abomination? Oh, shit, that's cool. These frequencies they belong to more than one person. Oh, what? by something else? Askar, it's me, Xiang Li Yao. Do you recognize me? Stay back. The wave warn's coming. Stay away from here. Huh? Didn't he set it off in the first place? <laughs> Calm down. We're safe here. No wave worn or tacit field around. Nothing's happening to me. See? Xiang Li Yao. Yes, I'm listening. Pascar, what do you want me to know? I should have stayed at the academy. Shouldn't have taken anything without permission, but I did it. I figured it all out. The tacit field's frequency. You Made a prototype detector, too. It predicts where the tacit fields are forming. I... I should have kept the documents. I should have informed you. I was thrilled. Blinded by the success. But then my prototype. Gone. Everything gone. 
The margin of error was too big. Not the enough time, not enough range. So... When I got there, the wave worn had already... Oh, I see. So the wave worn had devoured me. And the last person I saw was... You saw me. Yes. Yes, I remember. It's all coming back to me now. I didn't trigger the wave one. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And what else? Pen. Give me a pen. I must write down my research results. I must show you. I need a pen. Hurry. Ascar. I've been trying to tell you for so, so long. I just want to let you know. I identified the tacit field special frequency. I... I never hated you. I just... I wanted to save the world. It's all in vain. Now everyone must see me as the culprit. <laughs> Can't blame you. After what I said, of course you... No. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Your research has inspired many. Even attracting interest from the Black Shores, wow. that mysterious organization. They've actually sent one of their consultants to learn about the theory. Even the Black Shores. Their faces couldn't hide the shock. It was truly a sight to behold. Even I burst out laughing. We're still searching for a way to recreate your prototype. But the Pascar Spectrum Theory has gained global Pascar recognition and is advancing tacit field research. Oh. Pascar Spectrum? Yes, it's your theory. We named it after you. Damn. Our classmates and I, we found your notes after the Waveworn receded. After filling in the missing information, we restored this theory. And named it after you. So did it use his uh, <laughs> study? Really? Yes. And we all know it wasn't your fault. So my research actually helped others? It did. And it will keep on benefiting people. <sighs> That's great to hear. Thank you. Oh, that's a good. Thank you, my friend. That's a good end. Please, please witness the world we've protected on my behalf. My wish has come true. Thank you, wishing tree. Rover. Let's witness Pascar's wish together. When I'm older, I'll be the best scientist ever. <laughs> I'll help people and everyone will love me. I'll lead the way in making lots of cool discoveries. Pascar, you've been here with us all along. So that's the real story. <laughs> We've helped make four wishes come true now. Or maybe it's actually five. Well... <laughs> five? Uh, uh, Doesn't have to be wished. Well, we only have four wish tags here. That must be the exit. Let's get out of here first, yeah? Hey, what does you mean? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. We got something down here. We got a here. No chess. Final reward before we leave. Okay. Oh man, please tell me it's over now. <laughs> I need to go to sleep. It's very, very late. I'm glad I didn't start like 12 midnight or something. Are you all right? It's not uncommon to feel a bit queasy after leaving the Sonoro Sphere. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Given the situation is now under control, uh, it should be fine. I will check on Patty. Just to be safe. You might need some time alone to process what just happened. 
Uh, don't worry about me, Rover. I can handle the rest myself. It's just a quick checkup on Patty. Go join the celebration down the mountain. Remember those kids you promised to meet up with? They must be waiting for you. Besides, I need some time to prepare a small gift for you. As thanks, I'll uh, catch up with you later. Well, friends, you go for the scene. Oh, hey. Good to see you again. Thanks to you, Jolie and I can restart our tacit Discord research. With our past experience, I'm sure we'll get better results this time. Oh, we've been busy moving the equipment to our new lab. Speaking of that, can you please clean your room? <laughs> Only been a few days, and it's a mess already. Piled high with papers, devices, and takeout. I can't even get in, let alone find what I need. Have you seen Xiang Li Yao's room? It's a perfect example of order out of disorder. I learned it from the genius. You always find things no matter where I leave them. Matt, <laughs> you know my room better than I do. Well, can't deny it. Yeah! Our colleagues, your show, organized this event called Swim. Gulp of Swim. We're here to show support. Plus... Japan never misses tacit Discord events. <laughs> you know me. Jisho is interested in those monsters, too. Should we invite her to join our research? More brains, better ideas. Let's get the creative juices flowing. Thanks. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. something else so we, we followed you up the mountain and saw you chatting with someone and then poof, oh, you two you just vanished following? into thin air we tried to ask for help but all we found was a rabbit robot mr rabbit said you're tough and we'll be okay he told us not to worry about you but come on <laughs> there's no way we wouldn't worry how could people just disappear my mom said it only happens in hero place yeah we had a plan if anything went wrong, our boss and Momo would run super fast downhill to get help from the grown up. And I'll keep watching in case anything goes down. Yeah, My good. eyes don't miss a thing. <laughs> you're welcome. Since you're safe now, can you show us the hero play you mentioned earlier? Right. Oh shit, right. Hmm? It was all important. The hero in this video... Is that you? His name sounds so familiar. Oh, I know. Grandpa told me you are the hero who saved Jinjo. That's awesome. No wonder you beat that monster with only a few moves. You're a true hero. And the guy fighting with you is incredible. I don't recognize him, but his mecha arm looks so cool. I want to be just like you. But... I don't know how to use Forte, or what it takes to be a hero. Huh? Despite wanting to go to the Moonlit Fine, Fair, you okay. chose to stay here and protect us. You walked the walk, sacrificing your own enjoyment for the sake of others. This 
is exactly what the Flame Ranger would do. I see. Uh, are you saying that we are the Flame Rangers now? Yes. With your swift feet and keen eyes, you'd make a formidable team, ready to face any challenge. Together, just like me and my mecha arm partner. <laughs> oh, I'm a hero now. And I have my hero squad with Lee, Momo, and Mr. Rabbit. The Moon Tree Lodge really made my wish come true. <laughs> Thanks, Rover. Yum, 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 yum. Oh my, Taoyun Vale hasn't been this busy in a long time. <laughs> I made it. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> no rush, child. Take a breath. What took you so long, when you? <sighs> Packaging. I wrapped the pastry up to keep the warmth. It'll taste better. Please, have a bite. Mrs. Hoeing, I made this myself. And this one's for you, Shang Yuin. Thank you, dear. Mr. Shou Yuan made this pastry for us during previous moon chasing festival. Yes, I really liked it, so I asked him for the recipe. But my son never learned to cook. When did he make this for you? He learned it in the military. At first, the food he made was, well, <laughs> average, but he got better over time. He could make a feast out of even the simplest ingredients. That's how good he was. Cooking's not that hard. I can do it, too. Shall I make a meal for you when I get some leave, Mrs. Hurting? Thank you. Thank you. Guide me. Mother told me the moonlit fair will start once the wishing. Sis? You are. Oh! Sorry! I couldn't see you! My glasses were smudged. Uh, are, are you still looking uh, for that researcher exactly. named Xiao Sheng? I asked around, but. No luck. I'm so sorry for being so useless. I... I can ask more people if you want. You can pick any of my paintings. As an apology? Please choose one. I insist. Really? Phew. That's good to know. I'm painting. Yeah. Lots of people. I can see all of Taoyu and Bail from here. Um... I guess it's everyone down there. I'm not good with people, but... Their smiles make me feel warm inside, too. It's like... When I pick up a paintbrush, the warmth just spreads through me. It's stunning! No, you flatter me! It's not that good. Just average. I still don't see the picture. Is it even... Is it a pink? I don't see any. Uh, meet up with Sammy, yeah, it's probably the next point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I kept you waiting, Rover. No worries. Is Patty alright? I found some unusual frequencies inside its body. Not sure if that's the Sonorosphere's influence. Out of safety concerns, I locked it up for the time being. Normally I would, but not this time, because I promised you a gift. Here, please take this. What's this, a camera? I know you're going to the Moonlit Fair. Ooh. Here's a camera to capture memories for you to keep. It can be. Maybe I should include it in the employee handbook. <laughs> Not yet. That's why I'm about to write one. I couldn't have solved this so fast without you by my side. Those wishes were their cries for help. Someone had to act fast and save them. 
or there could have been severe consequences. Thanks to your help, people can see their wishes come true. The fulfilled wishes bring warmth and comfort to be shared by many more. In the end, the Moon Tree Lodge kept its promise to everyone, including Pascar. What about you? What is your wish? My wish? I haven't really thought about it in a while. But I may already know the answer to your question. It's the same reason I'm taking care of the Moon Tree Lodge. I want to follow in our pioneers' footsteps. Those who forsake everything in pursuit of truth. And those who dedicate their lives to the welfare of others. My parents each embodied one path. They were my role models. And I have strived to emulate them both. Their passing left me searching for answers, for a way to find balance between the two. That was why I inherited the Moon Tree Lodge. Still, I've often questioned, how closely should I follow my parents' paths? Should I abandon all social connections in pursuit of the elusive ultimate truth? Like in a certain story. But in the end, yeah, you didn't do that. No, I didn't. Oh, I because Pascar found me and brought me out of my room. Without him, I never would have known about my father's ties to the Moon Tree Lodge. When Pascar left the academy, I considered going with him. Perhaps we are the same kind of people after all. I wanted to give up everything for the ultimate truth, but I still craved companionship. That's why I hesitated. Seeking truth can be futile. It's like constantly pushing a boulder uphill, only for the lament to send it back down every time. In this disaster-stricken world, our beliefs, innovations, even entire societies risk falling into oblivion in an instant. Still, someone must push the boulder of curiosity and explore uncharted territories beyond that. I've longed to push that boulder, Rover. Perhaps one day, I'll give in to the urge, even if it means leaving everything behind, because it's there. Hard to resist the temptation when truth feels so close, almost within reach. I've been trying to tell you for so, so long. I just want to let you know. It's all right. You can venture as far as you need to. You will always return to open arms. The way you've always tried to clear Pascar's name, how he's done his utmost to tell you the truth, that's what we call a human connection. That's why your memory worked as a key in the Sonorosphere. Have more faith in humanity. The hero who pushed the boulder of truth for us all will be remembered. And the bond between people will endure. Because we are here for you. Always. Hey! Over here! Your friends are calling out to you. Go. Don't keep them waiting. I see. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, ending cutscene for this. They say some vendors offer discounts to people visiting together. Yes. Yeah, so, join us. Well, come with me then. Make it another perk of working for the Moon Tree Lodge. Uh, but I... You have a promise to keep. Remember? Thank you, my friend. Please. Please witness the world we've protected. On my behalf. Yes, I do. What's up with you two? Come on, let's go! Good Abby. Alright. <sighs> so I guess we're gonna see everyone like what we saw in the trailer. Oh, shit. 
did. Who's that? Look at him go! That's the turtle. Does Lord Puzzle the answer, friend, baby? Just did the puzzle. Here you are. You done? Let me see. Overtaking the pictures. Wow, Aisha actually smiled. She really should smile more often. Painting. Huh? What's that? Says he. Let's go check it out. Yep. <laughs> uh, please, I'm not photogenic. Oh man, it reminds me of sipping someone. It's about time. Behold, the Moonlit Fair's final show. Oh. It's a hollow. It's like it's a hollow. And it's sounding out three. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's GC. She is here. Story is done. Okay, we're done for now. Uh, listen to the word. I'm not on your Okay. So we still have uh, Sergi story quest, and somehow we have freaking. Ling Yang story quest as well, but probably will do in this update uh, since this is blocked by <laughs> Ling Yang story quest. Fine, I'll do that. I'll do it this touch maybe if I have the time. But yeah, okay, four hours already. I'm done for today. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.